new particle editor has dropped in the latest Game Maker beta, and this is nothing short of amazing. So let me show you how it works. We first need to create a particle system asset. Then we get the particle emitter editor. Make sure that you click on your particle emitter. To your left, you're going to see all of the different settings that you can change in order to make your particle system look awesome. Once you're satisfied with your changes, make sure to save your particle emitter as a preset. Once all of this is done, you can quite literally go into the room editor and create an asset layer. This is where your particle systems are going to live in for the time being. That might be subject to change in the future, but for now, this is how it works. Go ahead and add your particle system to your asset layer. Now run your game and watch your particle system come to life. This is great, right? So we were able to create a particle system really quickly and it already looks really nice with just a few clicks. Now, if you're just like me, you don't want to stop here. We want to make something a little more interactive. So let's go into the next section. Now, before we jump into the good stuff, I can see that a lot of you guys are not subscribed. So please go ahead and do that. Smash that subscribe button. It will help out the channel tremendously when it comes to the YouTube algorithm suggesting this video to even more people. I would highly appreciate it. Also, while you're at it, make sure you give it a like and hit the bell icon to always receive notifications for any upcoming videos. Thank you so much. And now we can just jump into the content. If we go ahead and use particle system create, we can pass in the particle system asset name. Now, this is where the cool part actually starts. Now that we have a reference to our particle system created through the editor, we can modify all of its properties and outer code at runtime. So let me show you how to do that. In this case, we're going to make our emitter region to follow our player. In order for us to be able to do that, all we have to do is use the particle emitter region and fill out all the parameters. Now, this, this next section is a little bit confusing because rather than passing in our particle emitter's name, we just have to pass in our particle emitter's index, and that's pretty much it. For some reason, we cannot use our particle emitter's assets name, which is kind of weird, but we have to remember that this is still in beta and this might be subject to change later on. Now, before we forget, let's go ahead and create a cleanup event because we have created this particle system dynamically and any resource that has been created dynamically has to be taken care of. So let's go ahead and get that done. Now, one last time, let's run our game and watch our particle system come to life. And there you have it. We have our particle system doing anything, its thing, and following the player just fine. How awesome is that? I hope you've had a lot of fun. And uh, I also want to give a shout out to this uh, GMC member. This person was the one who made this information uh, available to the public. So I ran into it and I was like, wow, this is what I was looking for. And I was, I was never going to uh, realize that this is the way that particle systems can now be changed and interacted with. So it's actually pretty damn awesome. And I'm glad I ran into this. So a big shout out to him. Now, this is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something useful. Please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. These are the awesome people on Patreon who support my work. Thank you so much for your continued support.